Ooh, well, what is up, folks? Welcome back to another video. This beautiful, bright, and sunshiny day. So today, this is what we're doing. So let me explain. When we first filmed the video for this truck, introducing it, I was talking about how there's things I want to change, things we already want to do to it, get it ready. And so, yeah, inside's really mint. It's really nice. But there's some things on the outside that could use some upgrading. So what we're going to do today, I'm going to be brave. I'm going to try to put on some new cab lights because I don't like these amber ones and they're all mix matched. There's three of one kind, two of the other, and one of them is totally missing the cap on it. It's like one of the ones in the middle. So what we're going to do is replace them with these sweet, sweet, these smoked clear ones with a white LED light in them. So they're going to look really sweet. They're going to look good, but this is the only issue. I am no electrician at all. I can do a lot of things, but electrical work's just not one of them. So I'm going to be brave. I got to take the headliner off here and see what all the wiring situation underneath for them already is. So hopefully it's not just a huge rat's nest and it looks terrible and I'm basically just going to destroy it and not have and not have cab lights at the end of this, or hopefully it's not too difficult. And if it is difficult, I might have to call somebody to come and give me a hand, but we're gonna get the snow cleaned off, get the truck started up, probably go for a little ride. And then uh, we're gonna pull the truck into the shop and start getting going on these here, sweet new cab lights. So fingers crossed it all works out. Let's see if she starts. If you know anything about these old, old trucks rather it's Ford, Chevy, Dodge, whatever, you know, you gotta pump it a couple times and then see what she does. Ooh, she is cold. She is very cold. As for right now, I pretty much only drive this truck on the weekends. Hey, there it is. Just like that. Like I was saying, for the most part, I pretty much only drive this truck on the weekends because obviously it's not super great on gas mileage. This was just something that I, I type of vehicle I've always wanted like my whole life. So it's more of like a nostalgia type thing that I bought it because obviously that truck right there is the one that I daily every day. So this is more my weekend run around truck and yeah. So because it doesn't get amazing fuel mileage, but I do love driving this truck period so it kind of just sits all week but hopefully once more updates get done i can start bringing this truck more into the route of being like a daily driver or, or driving it more during the week as well so but she's fired up so let's take it for a spin i gotta go out and clean all the snow off the hood and off the cab and probably take some off the bed but we gotta start it up so i'm gonna let her get warmed up clean all the snow and let's go for a ride all righty so we're back in the shop now. Always back in the shop working on something, it seems like. But this one should be fairly easy. We're here. Took the truck out for a little bebop around town. Went for a little ride. Got it nice and warm. Made sure all the snow and all the ice got melted off. So now, first things first is we got to take the headliner in there. Drop that down. Bow. So we're going to take the headliner here off. Probably going to take this cowboy holder, cowboy hat holder out. Don't need that really. Let's take the headliner off that way. I can see the wires and everything in the situation that's going on like with that. And hopefully that's gonna kind of determine right off the bat whether it's gonna be really difficult or fairly simple. In reality, it should be fairly simple, but who knows? So we're about to find out. So we take that off, let's check out the wires and uh, we'll go from there. So let's get after it. So a rusty trusty drill here. I don't feel like using a screwdriver trying to take all these out. So. All right, there's one. Only about a thousand more to go. All right. Again, realizing the way that this is all kind of one piece, I think I'm going to leave this end one in up here. That way it doesn't just flop. I really don't want it to break because getting a replacement is probably next to impossible and or really expensive so I would rather just not have it break I 
Wait a minute. Oh, okay. It's a joint right there. So there's a joint right here in the center. Didn't notice that before. I don't want to see no hates in the comments. I don't know. Never done this before. It's the first time. I'm just trying to go slow and cautious because I don't want to mess this up. I really don't. I'm hoping this isn't going to be difficult in the first place and breaking stuff is going to make it more difficult. So we're not doing it. One side's off. Alrighty. Let's uh, take off this back one. Now the thing that I think is most interesting that I noticed is there's a screw here right in the center, which makes me believe that this was probably folded down before and the previous owner or owners or whoever, whenever, took a screw and just sent it. And it looks like it's just a self-tapper screw because it doesn't look like these ones that are holding up this little ring or whatever. So it looks like they sent a self-tapper right into the roof, which is fantastic. But I guess the hold holds. Who am I to judge, man? I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just out here trying to look like an idiot on YouTube. So there's another. So these are actually metal. I thought there was plastic. I was also worried about the one because I thought it was one continuous loop. But there's several pieces and sections. But still, having a long piece, I didn't want it to bend. Because now realizing that these are metal. Guarantee they're definitely expensive to replacements. Probably impossible to find. Ready? Ready? Pow! Just like that. Alrighty. Cool, cool, cool. I'll take this out. So, remember these are insulation stuff or whatever. We're gonna, yeah, check this all out. I think I need to pull this down. Don't know what is exactly. Here's what we're seeing. Headliner's out. I got this almost feels like carpet pad. It kind of has the same kind of consistency look to it where it's like, it kind of just looks like foam insulation, obviously, duh. But I just have these two squares here and one on each side. So I'm gonna pull those down and then see what's underneath and then we're gonna see what we can figure out after that. That's right now. That wasn't too difficult, wasn't too scary. I'm still nervous. I feel like I have no idea what I'm doing, but we're getting somewhere. So stick around, stay tuned, and uh, I'll show you what we're doing here in a second. And hopefully I don't totally mess this up because I'm not an electrician, I don't know what I'm doing. So now we're outside the truck. And I decided what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna go ahead and take these existing cab lights off already and just take them off now and see what the whole wiring situation kind of looks like for them already. I already know that they're gonna be different than the ones that I ordered, but I wanna see the wiring situation for them right now so I can kind of determine how difficult it's gonna be already. So far we're running smooth. No, I'm feeling pretty optimistic about it. But, so I'm gonna take these off, you know, so I'll, I'll show you. So you have these ones, right? This one, the one in the middle, and the one on the end are the same. Then there's this one that's more rounded, long skinny teardrop look. These have more of a coffin look to them. So obviously they're mixed matched and they're different. Okay, so it's ugly. One of them doesn't even work. Okay, it doesn't even have the lens on it. It's that way when I bought it, don't yell at me. So that's why I wanna take them off. And because they're, ma they're mixed matched, they don't look good, they're ugly. I'm not a big fan of the amber lights anyways. And plus the reason I want to get the LED lights is because the truck has aftermarket LED headlights. So I feel like having those and then adding the, the smoked lens with the white LED would match really well with the white LED headlights that it has. 
Yes, granted, I know that there's still the amber running lights on the front. I got half a mind to see if I can just get like a smoked lens with a white LED light for those as well. Because obviously now something's gonna stick out, but we'll see. I might see if I can find some of those and how big of a pain in the butt that would be and if that's even an option. But, so we're gonna start taking these off. Hopefully it's not too difficult. And then I think after that's when the all the fun's really gonna begin. So let's get after it. Wish me luck, hopefully it's not too bad. Wow. Alrighty, so finally, it's been about 30 minutes trying to get these stinking lights off and I don't quite have them all the way off technically. So, one's there, these ones, okay, they're still on there. This wiring, the little pigtails and stuff. But here's the crappy thing. See these screws? Yeah, two for that one. And still one for that one. They're in like a rib nut, which is good, but the rib nut itself is stripped out and it's no longer tight. So that sucks a lot. But hopefully I can figure out how to get these out. I've already spent 30 minutes just trying to get these out because like so many of the screws for these things were stripped out some of them I kind of just had enough. I'm like, it's been 30 minutes. I'm just gonna break them because they're not going back on anyways. So I just like broke the little plastic molding that was around because I mean, and it was easy because they were sun rotted anyways. But that's been a pain in the butt. But now that I have the cab lights off, like the housings, and I can see the wiring harness for it, I feel like it's gonna be pretty simple and pretty smooth sailing from here because the new ones I have are just a two wire function and so are these. But here's the weird thing. These ones, okay, are only connected to one wire, but you can see the rest of the little pigtail sticking out. I kind of got to pull them up through the roof to get to them. This one's going to be a little tough but because it, it's so short, but there are wires already on the new ones. So this has been fun and it's also sucked at the same time. It's relief seeing the way they are now. They should be pretty easy to get wired in and see if they work. I'm gonna start with one and see if it works. But holy crap, what a pain in the butt. <laughs> All right, well folks, do you believe in miracles? Because I do, now. We uh, plugged in one light, wired it in, and uh, and uh, pow. So there's one. So far, so it's just rough wired and I just twisted the ends together and everything. I'll clean it all up and put actual connections and stuff like that and do it right and proper. But one down, five to go. Alrighty, so now I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna do all the cab lights, do them all correctly, not just the little rough wiring that you just seen. And I realized earlier, I said one down, five to go, or one down, four to go, but actually, I Got to do them all anyways. But now that I know how, fingers crossed that this runs pretty smooth. So, I'm going to set up the GoPro, just film this, and uh, cue the montage. <laughs> Four lights are done. One more to go. 
the two that were like not the same as the other three were really difficult because the pigtails for them, like the wiring harness, was really short. So it took kind of a little bit of magic to get them to work. It was kind of a pain in the butt because it was a really short amount of wire that I was working with. But last one. And the three that were like the originals were really easy. They had a lot of length to them. So each one that I've done, I've gotten it wired up and then I've uh, checked it to make sure it works. So last one, here we go. switch and see if they all come on. Not bad, all of them on. Can you imagine how embarrassing that would have been if just like the last one wouldn't have come on? I would have been so mad and embarrassed. But look at that, five of them on. Yeah. I feel like the hard part's done, but not quite the hard part because now I still have to figure out how I'm gonna mount them because the screw holes aren't the same. So I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do, how I wanna do it, and all that. So here I was thinking earlier today when I started this video, I was like, I really hope it doesn't take me all day just to wire in five stupid lights. I mean, I wanted to make a good video, but here I am, it's taking me all day. It's gonna take me all day to get these five stupid lights on. So I started probably roughly like 11.30. It's now three o'clock. But the five lights come on. So that's a, that's a win for me, I think. I think that's a success. Now, we just gotta do some uh, mounting. Figure out how I'm gonna do that, clean things up, and then get them all sealed and ready to go. So we're right on. Alrighty, well, as you can see, it's now, uh, dark outside of course it does get dark quick in the winter time here in utah but went to the hardware store finally got took me a while finally found the little bitty screws that i need to uh mount these up so now we're gonna mark the holes we need hopefully mark them perfect and correctly the first time because if i mess up it's gonna be an issue but yeah we're gonna mark some holes, drill some holes, and hopefully we get these uh, cab lights fully mounted up and ready to go. Love when a short project turns into an all day project, but let's get after it. All righty. So, so far I got four fully mounted on. So what I'm doing is I'm drilling a hole, putting in a rib nut, and then screwing them down. It's easy to explain. There's quite a few steps. So I just got the one more to do, but the other four are on, nice and straight. Now I'm hoping that once I get them all mounted on and go and pull out the switch, they uh, all still come back on again. So here's hoping and uh, let's get this last one on there. You know the thing, if I happen to be up here on the roof and doing this, there's not a ton of room to work. So it makes it slightly difficult, but we'll get it done. Last one.
and get your holes correctly, the screws will go right in. And that is it. All five cab lights replaced and installed. It's quite nice. I'm trying to think of the words. Just not quite anything like a short project. Taking all day to do. It's no big deal. It's fine. We're fine. I'm fine. It's, it's not a big deal. I've loved it. Learning experience, learning new things. So it's a good time. Now let's just hope that when we pull out the switch, all lights come on. Alrighty, so moment of truth, I turned off the lights, obviously, except for the big bench light, to see if all these come on. I know it's dark right now, but let's hope, let's hope, let's hope. Switch is out. I see one on for sure. All right, here we go. And wouldn't you know, look at that, folks. Done and done. Good deal, they look fantastic. I'm really pleased with those, really happy with that. So, good deal. I'm glad that's finished, I'm glad that's on. Looks fantastic. But, yeah, that's gonna do it. And if you've made it this far in the video, go ahead and please like, comment, subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you think if this project really should've taken me all day, or if I am just a awful, electrician slash mechanic and i should never be let near a vehicle again but that's gonna do it thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next one